Hello folks, Matt here on the planet uh, and uh, yeah welcome to uh, Valencia Marathon Training Program uh, I'm going to have to guess it's episode 5, I think it's episode 5 uh, reason being is we've had the Gotham Marathon um, we've had the, there's been a whole host of videos coming out for that ex expo, uh, shakeout and stuff like that and the actual marathon itself um, and also uh, we did the Great North Run last weekend, so we're a few days on from that and we come up to this fantastic place over Cragside uh, just having a bit of a kind of recovery week really and um, just giving an update on what the training has been like and obviously the training, the, the races that we've just done back to back um, at Gothenburg and the GNR have uh, obviously played into uh, the training that we're doing so um, the Gothenburg week we managed to do 102 kilometers, which is the strongest week in terms of volume that we've done for the whole training block and um, that's where I wanted it to be. This week is probably only going to turn out to be about, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 by the end of time of the going. We did a long run at the end of the week. I think we might have done about 25k um, already this week, um, including this week, including today's run. And other than that, uh, training is going well. Uh, Fitness is good, knees good, um, not perfect but good, um, and we're just cracking along. So yeah, today we're up at Cragside, and we're just doing a, a 10 k loop around what they call the uh, the carriage drive or the forest drive, you might know it as. Um, and it's just a case of just having a recovery week. So Monday we went out with the 5k, Tuesday we went out with the 14k, all at relatively easy pace. Um, a couple of days off, doing some strength training, being a bit busy. Should have really gone out yesterday, but. Uh, we're tied up with other things um, that's why the, the volume for this week is going to be a little bit down um, and yeah 10, uh, 10k today and then a long run either Saturday or Sunday where we'll do um, I think the plan is to do about 32 kilometers so we'll update you on that or if you sorry if you go and check that on Strava you'll be able to see what we've done in terms of volume for that week um, yeah, and other than that, it's, it's been quite good to come off the back of those two races. Um, the Great North Run was good, we, you know, I was managed to hold a heart rate of about 175 to 180 all the way through, um, although the pace wasn't where I wanted it to be. Um, nevertheless, you know, I've come about five, six minutes off in PR, considering the heat, you know, 25 degrees, whatever it was on the start line, sweating on the start line, um, and obviously then we had the downpour. That video is quite interesting if you want to go and watch that because it was a, a day of all sorts, not what you expected. Um, but yeah, in terms of the, uh, the, Val the Valencia Marathon training program work we're doing then, um, that's still going well. Um, <coughs> come out the other side of the two races, we've still got two or three weeks left in September. We're so, so we're still in the base building phase, so aerobic building phase so we've, we've had you know we've managed to get with the racing we managed to keep a bit of that speed stimulus in the legs so it's not gonna be too hard to change over to the faster stuff when we get into into october um but yeah just trying to have another couple of weeks of heavy base building miles and a, and a little course like this is really helpful as well because we, we've got the you've got the undulating so you've got the hill climbing work so we're kind of going up a bit although 
I'm, we're a couple of kilometers in now and I'm backing off a bit um, just to kind of walk and talk uh, but I haven't got loads of energy at the moment through you know still having a, a week of recovery after those two big races but yeah very short episode this week just wanted to give you a quick update where we're at all the data's on Strava if you want to go and follow it along please take a look please take a look at the race videos really appreciate people who do do that um, appreciate everybody subscribe to the channel um, I'm following the journey um, along for us to try and run a three hour 10 marathon this year and uh, hopefully we can push on to run a sub three hour marathon possibly next year but we'll just have to take it as it comes and see how the training goes in terms of the, the other the other thing I'll probably want to talk about is the weight loss so um, I went into Gothenburg I think I was probably just over 76 kilos or something like that so the aim is to be at to as close to 70 kilos when we get to Valencia so realistically I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it um, try and lose a couple of kilos a month um, but probably something like 72 kilos is, is probably where we're going to be at but still like uh, you know I'll put my head on and knuckle down and try and break uh, break 72 it didn't really help at the Great North Run with the uh, the organisers giving out um, a box of 15 fulfilled chocolate bars which are uh, very nice but uh, I've gone through quite a few of those this week in my uh, recovery process the protein bars are supposed to be but um, I've been getting carried away with them but on the same token it's probably a good idea to get them out the way and then get back into a routine next week of having no sweets and chocolate so uh, I won't tell you about the fish and chips I had last night either so that's it for today um, a short video bit of bit of running show you better running around Cragside or I might have already put that on the video uh, thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time It's so strange to have like a knee injury like this where it's not really an injury but there's something not right when I'm walking. Yeah. So physio says to me, um, just got to keep it moving, keep doing the exercises, keep kind of loosening it up. I wouldn't say stretching's the right words for it but we've got to keep moving it, keep active. And it's funny just having two days off um, it seems to have tightened and seized up a little bit. It's a little bit harder to straighten out so um, after today's run, even now really, it's feeling better. Um, and then today, tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow, should be much better, I think. So today is the uh, Heritage Day at the National Trust and a few other, it doesn't have to be the National Trust, but a few other sites. So places like this that are participating, Cragside, um, it's free to get in. Normally it's something like £14 or £17 per person per adult, um, but it's free today. So. It happens kind of once a year, something like that, maybe once every six months. Um, but we didn't know about it, they just told us when they came in. So uh, you could maybe go off to English heritage sites and things like that. Um, car park was full. There's, we haven't seen many people out on the on the roads, probably because of the weather really, like, but maybe they take a look around the house and go to the cafe and things like that. Um, obviously there's a few cars here on the forest drive. so. Yeah, definitely something to look at if you're in the area or actually anywhere around the UK that's participating just take a look at the heritage look take a look at the National Trust site um, and have a look at the heritage sites to visit 